spent about two weeks writing this uh, letter, this narrative for a 4 by 4 management, who I'm addressing this to. Um, I spent so much time on it because I wanted it to be articulate, professional, but um, sincere at the same time. So here it is. Hi, I'm John Sona. That is my stage name and my soul's name. I'll give you my legal name and all of my info if you respond to me. This narrative is addressed to Jonathan Wax and or the heads of 4x4 management in New York City. So listen, I am a visual artist, a painter, pastels, I draw, I am a singer, a songwriter, album cover and website designer for John Sona and other things I've done in the past, music composer via computer software and some guitar. I can't play it technically right. I manipulate it. Video producer for John Sona, photographer, and I'm a writer too. I do a lot and I do not have any classical training or college degrees for any of it. But I am very talented. I've taught myself over the years. And I've grown so much as an artist, internally, externally, and technically. I've learned so much on my musical journey. And it is a journey, my journey. And I am poor. So I have to use not so top notch equipment to create the Johnsona magic. And it's pretty amazing what I've produced considering that fact. And I think so. And many others have told me that too. Not to toot my own horn, but I am, I guess. Many people have told me recently and over the years, oh my God, Jay, you are so talented. You should sell your stuff, make a career, get yourself known. Um, I've tried. I've tried my ass off. But it is virtually impossible, I have learned, without a big support system, a lot of fans, or a lot of money, none of which I have. So I need a management company. I submitted a song entitled Aramitic through Reverb Nation to you, that Reverb Nation and you offered to me as a contest. But I know that there is an oversaturation of musicians and artists, millions, if not more. But I am a needle that I am a needle in a haystack of artists on a planet of 7.2 billion people. I also know that not everyone will like or likes what I do. And am I marketable? Who knows? I'm willing to compromise some to make myself marketable, to make whoever represents me money and myself money. But it is also important to me to stay true to my, artist, my artistic integrity as well. And it doesn't even have to be my music. I am a visual artist, a painter. Um, I know prints can be made on t-shirts and coffee cups and cell phone covers and prints, etc. And online store setups are very easy and um, the sky is the limit with that. But I know in my heart that I have a niche somewhere on this planet and I need help to find it. I just can't seem to do it on my own. And not to badmouth other artists to each their own. But for instance, if a woman can vomit paint on a canvas and become rich and successful, or if you get interviewed in a bad neighborhood about a crime 
on television and then make a, um, a music, add some music and remix it and um, put it on YouTube and become a millionaire or, you know, successful even. Um, hello? Why can't I? And I'm not aiming for world famous and millionaire status, but decent money and some recognition. Yes, please. And I won't lie to you about anything, and I won't. It's all out on the table, and it will be. I do have some health issues, and, um, you know, I am reliant on the government for insurance and for the expensive medicines I have to take, which can be canceled at any minute. It's like I have no, without money, I have no control, and I won't beg for money. I have a lot of pride in regards to that, but... That's why I want financial success doing something I work so hard on and love so much, you know. Getting off the track of my letter here, but um, I, I have addressed my health issues and I keep them in check with medications. And I am quite proud of myself for that. It's not easy. I am a survivor. I'll elaborate more on the details of all of this later if you give me a chance. Also, I am no spring chicken. I am 42 years old. But I could never do what I do now as an artist in my 20s or even my 30s, for I didn't have the confidence, the courage, or the wisdom back then to do it. And ageism, ageism runs rampant in this country too, I know. But I am a rebel. And an unjust society will not stop me from doing what I love. So you may ask, what makes me so special that I feel I should have success as an artist and stand out above the rest? Well, maybe nothing. There are a lot of artists and people in this world who can dance better, sing better, maybe even paint better than I can. But I do feel that even if I'm not the best or classically trained, what I do have to offer as art, as an artist and entertainment is honest. It is from my heart and soul. It is sincere. It is something different and special that nobody else can do the way that I can. And although I have a bitchy exterior and image as John Sona, I am a good person with a huge heart that would like to leave a mark on this world before I leave it and add some positive energy to a scary and messed up but beautiful earth and maybe not have to spend the rest of my life worrying about money and be able to help my family and close friends when in need instead of vice versa like it usually is. I will say though that if I never have success monetarily as an artist, which is a large possibility, I won't be devastated for there is so much more to life than money and recognition, which I talk a lot about in my other videos. I am truly blessed as things are now, and I am thankful to God for all that I have, and I am, and I do. I thank a lot. But I won't lie, it would be amazing to have um, icing on that cake, which would be success as some form of professional artist and not die a poor, struggling, and unremembered human being. So I've created this webpage that this video is on to showcase what I think is my best work, links to everything else um, that has to do with this entity and things that I can do, and um, contact information. This is an application, a submission form, if you will. So please, Jonathan Wax and 4x4 Management Company in New York City, please help me. Give Johnny a chance. So that's my letter. Um, please help me. I've tried so hard on my own to get known, to find my niche to figure out how to have some sort of monetary success and, you know, recognition. I work so hard. 
Not that other people don't, but I work really hard and I'm tired of doing it for free. And I'm tired of nobody listening to it. It's been a lifetime of that. So everything I had to say, I said in this letter, I meant it. I spent a lot of time on it. So please give me a chance. Um, I have contact information on this website I made and um, I'll probably leave my phone number too. So thank you for listening. Bye.